Two months ago, we had a reception on the White House lawn for some of America's latest heroes, the soldiers, sailors, and marines who rescued them, taking pictures of them and introducing them to their parents as heroes. All of us can cherish freedom the people of El Salvador. Yesterday, those valiant people braved guerrilla violence and sabotage to do what we take for granted, cast their votes for president. And some who, in their legislative activities, have not looked for too much favor on what we've been doing. But the calls we're getting back are all of them, just complete enthusiasm of the heroes. They're people who knew the risks and the overwhelming effort that could be retired, required, but were undeterred from their goals. Men and women everywhere, and we're grateful. Now, let me read the citations and present the medals to each recipient. And the first, and an individual whose character shines brightly, as an example to others. Howard Baker has been a force for responsibility and civility on a generation of Americans. It is almost. <laughs> his mark not only on the film industry, but on the hearts of all his fellow Americans. In some 60 years in entertainment, performing on stage and screen, he mastered drama.
congratulations to the recipients, the representatives of the American people, I want to thank each of you for what you've done that has added so much to our lives. Thank you and God bless you. in action. And uh, all we've had back here is the, are the news accounts, which did indicate to us that there were some efforts made to interrupt what was going on down there, and uh, they didn't succeed. <coughs> you won't mind if I bring up the matter of I hope that we can have our emergency. <laughs> if, they have a, if they have a runoff election a, a month from now that uh, We'll be able to maybe have better protection to propose than that. But I didn't come to talk. I came in to hear you all talk. And uh, I just want to commend you. I think it was great. And we were seeing you and hearing about you when we were down there. Jim, I understand you had a, something with a heroin helicopter ride. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that, that is a very graduation. It wasn't any problem. <laughs> <laughs> We went fanned out into different parts of the country, and among us, I suppose, covered a, a greater part of uh, that country than any news team could conceivably could have. I estimate that I may have talked to uh, 400 or 500 citizens in five different towns, and when you multiply that kind of thing among all the rest of us, Solomon Ortiz took a transcription of interviews, man in the street interviews in Spanish with, uh, with people down there, and he, he's, he said it's just a really amazing thing. Those people want democracy. And when you see people standing in the streets, hot sun, you ask them how long they've been standing there, they say, well, I got here at 8 o'clock, and then you, you see it's almost uh, 10.30, and they, they aren't grumbling, they're not complaining, they're happy, they're joyous, uh, they're they're really grateful to be participating in this kind of a process. They believe in it. Um, all of the negative things, the fact that uh, the <coughs> terrorists did prevent some from voting by uh, stealing and destroying their voter registration cards, the fact that the bureaucracy made some errors and an overzealous desire to protect the ballot uh, with a, a sort of a complicated um, system of guarantees against any taint of corruption. And that made it hard for some people to vote. But when you've said all those things, you come down to the bottom line, about 70% of the people did vote and their votes got counted. And that's better than we've ever done recently in this country in the presidential election. I really don't believe uh, that in the average American city, we would see citizens standing in the hot sun, perspiration rolling down their faces for three hours, waiting the privilege to vote, uncomplaining, happy, uh, and not grumbling about anything. So I just, uh, I came away with a renewed uh, conviction that uh, with all the mortal faults of an electoral system, we have them in our state as uh, the Vice President may have observed on one occasion, uh, uh, and then certain other states. With all the um, uncertainties uh, uh, that surround uh, that, I think these people have demonstrated their earnest desire for a free democratic society, and I believe they're entitled to have it. Uh, and uh, Senator Roth uh, and I have both said about that same thing. He's arranging with Howard Baker and others to have the, uh, the ambassador, if you would agree to his coming here Wednesday to talk to... Joe Ann Smith from Florida, President Millet. How are you? Going to be the first Chief of Staff. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
mates from Colorado. Word out with the Washington office here. Good to see you. you. Should I get in? Or yes, thank, oh, you. thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate this time. Well, he said, brucellosis only affects the milk. He said, not the meat. And I said, well, now, wait a minute. And then he says, and then, he said, then you get from the federal government of the state $75 a head for the fact that you had to make the force sale. And I said, now, wait a minute. I mean, I just have one more question. I would have to sell these steers on the market, and I get the money from them. And then I get $75 a head from the state. He said, yes. I said, my last question is, where can I find some more cattle in Jerusalem? <laughs> 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 I had to all the time I was doing it. And neither were we. I've forgotten that experience. Was mm -hmm. well, there anything you'd like John to take back to 200 national directors uh, and state cattle directors from you, sir? We're meeting here in town this week. And they'll be fanning back out to 50 states. Uh, just my warmest regard and sympathetic understanding. <laughs> 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 You're in a cow business too, I'm in Santa Barbara, I know. I've kind of whittled that down now in my you. absence to where it's uh, just can't, a few for beef. You can't <laughs> run that many steers anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Good to see you all. And congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. This is Mayor And I have this as a Burt Start House. I'd like this to be given to the first lady. So the last uh, federal Confederate meeting was held. And ironically, this is Abbey Wilkins where the first organized meeting was held. That's so I'd like you all to have this and also. Thank you very This is in the county which John C. Calhoun was born, Abbeville County, too. This is from a grateful little town in South Carolina. <laughs> well, and you don't know how, how much this means to us, Mr. President. Well, thank you very much. And we're very grateful to you for letting us have this time. And this I means think so I'd much. cut out this part here. Let's wait till he well, signs thank it. Thank you very much. All of you can have a good to be here. We're going to swing down through South Carolina in a few months. Please stop by. We're going to show you a good time, Mr. President. <laughs> really do write more than just this one word.
Nice to see you, Mr. President. Let us the picture here. <laughs> I kind of miss the old place myself. <laughs> grassroots level. And Amanda, it's my pleasure to present to you the American Cancer Society Award for Courage, for your personal courage in and winning over cancer, but also your courage and your willingness to help others by talking about what you, what you did. And I'm very proud and happy to present this to you. Thank you very much, Mr. President, for this wonderful honor. I just want to say that this is really better than the Academy Awards. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the President of the United States as the presenter. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. It's a great honor for me, and it's something that I will treasure for all of my life. I also want to thank the staff and all the volunteers at the American Cancer Society for choosing me to receive this award. And even though my name is on the certificate, uh, I want to share it with all of the wonderful volunteers who are so dedicated in helping people that have been afflicted with this insidious disease. And we want to reaffirm our dedication to making sure that in the future, that cancer will be just something that we read about in the history books. Thank you very much. Progress that their, this society is helping Absolutely. be made in, in that field. Yes. And you, you're simply the three million that have fought the same battle and won. Well, bless your heart. I really appreciate it very much. You're wonderful. You're wonderful. We're good to meet Vice President showed it to us before. It's, you'll see. <laughs> Get away. Mr. President, it's a great pleasure to introduce to introduce our distinguished artist, Mrs. 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 Mack. Such a wonderful Well, Mr. Mr. Mack, nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Mr. Oh, Amy Mack. Pleasure. Mm -hmm. Nice meeting you, sir. Nice to meet you. This is last last pass. Mr. President, if I could be Mr. Mack, the Artists uh, make the presentation. All the way to Hawaii for this presentation. First from Africa, then from Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even give you nice weather. So. <laughs> 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 
Mr. President, this is what we could do without, my husband could do without seeing you in person. So we took all the This uh, came from the space, from the satellites through the uh, cable TV set. So we so used as much video as we could and as much as we could do, and here's one of the portraits we have created of you. Well, and thank you very much. In honor of all the Hungarians and of all the freedom fighters and for all the freedom that we stand for, we present this too. So. Well, I thank you, and I accept it, not just for you who are here now and fighting this, but I think for all Hungarians who are fighting for freedom. And we shall never forget that they must have that. You, you did this from yes. Yeah. Also the uh, the uh, TV, uh, the uh, and the news, news conferences, and as many still yeah. photographs as we could get. Hundreds of or thousands of photographs. <laughs> <laughs> Kodak loves Finally, I, I achieved the man. I got the same suit on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they told us that man, sir, what did you wear? <laughs> At least America saw all your news uh, presentations and saw your TV coverages. He knows all your policies in and out. <laughs> <laughs> I had to learn. However, I know it before. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Thank you very much. Some of the things what you care so much and what you are standing for. Well, thank you very much. God bless you, Mr. President. So, yeah. that, that could be the White House photo. <laughs> When you leave here, no, I think we can do better for it than that. What? We'll do better by it than that one. I thought that was pretty. Well, good. that wasn't bad. It's a little out of proportion. The head, the, the head body was, was, was off a little bit. You couldn't stare at it the way we were from back there, but it's, it was out of proportion a little bit. The head was a little. I have to say, of all of it, it's one of the nicer ones that you've gotten. Oh, yes. Yeah. Expression. But uh, we go from portraits now to 44 magnums. You ready for Bobby? Yeah. What was the what was the what was the disproportion? The head too big or the head was yeah. too big for the rest of the body. Yeah. You know, it's look body wise like you're about five that's foot only ten. Because that's my problem. <laughs> my head is too small. <laughs> now, Mr. President, we've got the gentleman from Smith and Weston here. Hi, Mr. Oh, President. Great to see you, Dean. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you, Mr. President. Good to see you. Good to see you, sir. Don't want to shoot the snakes with it. I better show him the case. Wow. For heaven's sakes, this is. You want your time, Mr. President? Okay. That was 44 caliber. That, that's a 44 caliber. Yeah, right. That is, that is it's functional in every respect, sir. Just We've did, done uh, a number of things that I'm sure that you're going to recognize. Yeah. Right. And I've got 45s. Uh, I, I, I haven't shot it, but I do have a 44. Uh, that was uh, Is it the California yeah. Highway Patrol. That's a 44 special. That's a long, yeah, 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 yeah. This one a bit more bite than this. Right, the first time you shoot this, you're going to get, <laughs> it's interesting. It's very interesting. You will rest it. Believe me. That's true. 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 That's true.